How is everyone this evening? We are here at the 13th annual Broomfield Youth Recognition Award Ceremony. Broomfield hosts this award presentation every year. We recognize youth in our community who have overcome significant obstacles or hardships and demonstrated resiliency and are giving back to their community in some way. I would just like to say uh, thank you to my parents, uh, to my coaches, to all the teachers and everybody who got me here. I just want to say that it's an honor to be receiving this award and I want to thank my parents and friends for always being there for me and supporting me. And I want to thank um, the city of Broomfield for allowing me to receive this award, so thank you. It means an awful lot to us. Not only do these champions uh, for life itself that are sitting at these individual tables inspire us, they give us the opportunity to really understand what is important and it grounds us. And if you're going through our time, just keep going through it because it gets better. It just requires a lot of work and effort, but you can do it. I think it's important for our kids, especially those who are struggling, to feel seen and heard. They have overcome all types of trauma and setbacks, and they still have come out shining. And it's, it's important to, to send that message that if you, if you don't give up and you keep trying and find those trusted support folks, you can get through anything. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my parents for bringing me up to this point, and I want to thank the Sabine County for awarding me this award. Thank you. I think this is a great program where it recognizes people like me, where we've gone through a lot and we just, we're here and learning about everyone else's experience. It's good to take it as a, another learning opportunity. It's very special to me because I've been through so much since I was about 10 years old and it's really great that my counselors decided to nominate me and realize that I've been through so much. I'd also like to thank all uh, my family and all my coaches that have helped me throughout my life. I think this is really special because I love having the opportunity to meet other people and hear other people share their stories and it's great to see how everyone has gone through similar things. I'm so glad for my friends and family because they've helped me so much and thank you to the city and county of Greenfield for letting me receive this award. <laughs> It is so nice to see these beautiful kids tonight who have overcome so much adversity in their lives. They're resilient and they had such a powerful message to just continue to support these kids and to never give up on them. Despite everything that they're dealing with, they can be amazing parts of our community. I'd just like to thank uh, my parents, my sibling, Mr. McDonald for nominating me. Uh, and it's really cool to be in a room of people that are so resilient. It was really, really fun to hear all the people's stories and just to be in the same room as everyone who's gone through so much adversity. And just the recognition of overcoming challenges was really special. I would personally like to thank the police department. I saw a couple of faces that have actually been in my home before. And thank you, Mom, for raising me into the person I am today. I couldn't do it without you. And that's all I got to say. Thank you. <laughs> This award is so special to me because not only is my family here to celebrate it with me, there are people from all over the community here to support me and everyone else getting awards tonight. I'm glad to see that my teachers and my peers are able to make it here and support me. The kids in Broomfield are, are awesome. They've always been very supportive of us and very warm and welcoming to, uh, to us being in the schools. We love interacting with them. They're really special kids. They're resilient. Being able to work with the kids in Broomfield has been really special. Every year we have a great group of people who nominate these kids, school counselors, coaches, people in the community that recognize that these kids are awesome and deserve our attention for an evening. And so we are pleased to host this event every year. As a school counselor, I get to work with students, I get to see the good stuff, I get to see the tough stuff, and it is the most rewarding thing I've ever done, except for this. Coming here and hearing more of these stories is just amazing. This is my favorite event of the year. We come together to celebrate kids who have experienced adversity and have persevered. At Casa of Adams in Broomfield Counties, we work with kids every day who have experienced similar adversity in their lives, and it's so fulfilling and gratifying to see the community come together to celebrate these kids and what they've achieved. I think we've all faced adversity in some way or another. The way that I have overcome that is by Making my motto of my day in and day out is the only easy day was yesterday. And 
The only way that you can do that is by learning from your past mistakes and moving forward. I want to be best to give up because even though it's hard, I've learned so many lessons and I've gained strength through my weakness. And even though I had to go through the really fast because I was scared of the first time, I think I'm going to be able to do so much better than I have in the past. The world is a very challenging place and can always throw difficult challenges your way, but I think it's so important to keep striving to see the good people that exist and the kind people and to keep striving to do things that you love and finding things that you love. And the world is a beautiful place and it's hard to be young, but it always gets better. And that's what I wanted to say.